In this video, we're going to look at your filters and set preferences for number of records per page to help you when you're building homerooms or assigning students to homerooms. So I'm doing a very simplistic assignment to homerooms. I'm doing it just based on numbers because I'm actually building the training accounts and I need about uh, 17 homerooms for the training. So I'm only going to put to about 17 students in each class. Around there. It depends uh, on my numbers. So just take that in mind when I'm doing this. You're going to have to adjust your preferences appropriately, maybe 20, 22, 30, depending on which grades you're working with. I've already assigned some students into a homeroom, and then you, need, you notice this one that pops out there. It says homeroom, homeroom uh, 7. Um, but this student is cross-enrolled, or has a secondary school association. And their home school, or their primary school is the term I should be using, is Bird Ambrose. So I don't want to be looking at this filtered list, because it's all active students. I'm doing my homerooms, I want to look at primary active students. So that's the first thing, change your filter to your own students uh, appropriately. Next thing I'm going to do is in, under my set preferences, I'm going to change the lists of records per page and I know I'm going to be close to 17 per class here. I'm going to hit OK. And that gives me a list of 17. Now I've already assigned a group of students here to homeroom 1. And I've already assigned this teachers to home, the homerooms as well. That's a different video. That's under uh, staff. And in their details, you can assign their homerooms. So I've already done the parts of having the homerooms. Mine are numbered 0, 1, up to 17. Next thing I want to do is assign 15 students to uh, homeroom 2. They're all going to be kindies or kindergarten full times. And I'm going to start by doing this. I'm going to check this one student off. They're going to go into homeroom 2. I'm going to go to the next page. I still have one selected. And I'm going to select everybody on this page. I have 18, but I only want 15. So I look at my list. I've got these three kids. They're grade sixes. I don't want to assign them to a kindergarten homeroom. And there, I've got my 15. Again, overly simplistic in terms of homeroom assignment. Um, but as an example. From here, I'm going to go Options, Show Selected. I've got my 15 students that we've decided are going to go into this homeroom too. I'm going to now mass update them. Now, word of caution, when you're mass updating, read the warnings. And the only undo is the work you will have to do if you make a mistake here. So think carefully if you want to use mass update. Modify lists is also a good one because you can modify the homeroom list. I'm going to do mass update on this one. I know I have 15 students. And I'm going to read the warnings. I'm going to update their homeroom field. I'm going to change it to 0, 2. When you're doing homerooms, this has to be exact, so make sure you have it exactly right, including spaces or letters and capitals if you're using those. Strongly recommend just using some digits. Hit update. It says you're going to update homeroom with value 2. Next warning says 15 records. You want to see that. Make sure you're not updating your entire school. Hit OK. Give it a second. Tells me I've changed everybody to twos. So from here now, I'm looking at a custom selection. I need to go back to primary active students. There's all my 277 students. My first page and a bit of the second page are homeroom two. And now what I need to do is figure out who's going next. I want to do some grade ones. So I'm going to change the sort order. I'm looking at the grade ones. They don't have homerooms. My first homeroom three is going to have 17 students in it. Now because I've uh, changed the set preferences to show me 17 records, there's 17 students. Again, overly simplistic, just the example. Options, show selected. Very important, so we're only working with the 17. Options, I'll do modify list this time so you can see it. I've got a pencil, I can click on that. And now my homeroom is uh, 0, 3 for these guys. And I'm just tabbing through, and you notice as I hit tab, it updates the name of the teacher, because I've already set that up. If for some reason you hit tab and it didn't update it, you need to go back and make sure you uh, do fill that in, or use the pick list. Because if this doesn't update the teacher name, there is something wrong. Um, so do check that. And the really important thing here when I'm using the modify list is at the top there's a the green check mark you have to save changes through clicking on that if you navigate away it won't save it this way I know I'm only changing these 17 kids 
Perfect. Now where's the rest of my school? I've lost everybody. I only have 17 students. Check your right hand corner. Custom selection. Change your filter. Go back. Now I've got students that should be with homerooms. And options. Modify list. I can turn that off. something has gone horribly wrong. Nope, there it is. Perfect. So I obviously skipped a page in my grade ones, but that's okay. My next class of grade uh, ones needs to be 17 students long as well. So this would be an opportunity. If I made a mistake, I can go and clear these using the modify list, but I think I just skipped a page. So that's a good example of making a mistake. Grade ones just happens to be 17, so I'm going to pick this whole list of students options. We'll do a show selected. I'm going to do a mass update instead of a modified list. We're doing the homeroom. Make sure you pick the right one. This these guys are homeroom four. So I've already done homeroom three. Update. Need the warnings, working with 17, that's good, that's what I want. Bang, they're done. Let's go back to primary active students. There is page, what page am I on here? Three. So I've got some grade ones and then some grade twos on this page. In my next homeroom, I actually want grade uh, 11 grade ones and six grade twos which this works out perfectly I can just select them all or if you had a different number of course you would hit select all and then select a few or if you have to for some reasons you could click on the different ones that you need to do which would probably be more appropriate than actually building classes but once you have selected the group that you need options show selected And then use your option, uh, your mass list, modify list or mass update um, as you see fit. Just make sure you've done your show selected either way. Just make your life easier. Homeroom. These guys are homeroom five, zero five. And that shows a way how you can do uh, homeroom assignments, a very simplistic way. Another option you have is you could look at a larger um, number of records. And this can slow you down, but if I tell it to show my entire school, and oh, let's try that again. Set preferences, 277, hit OK. Oh. I just got confused and wonder where my school went. I'm looking at the custom selection again by 17 students. Perfect examples. So now I'm going to go back to primary active students. I've told it to show me 277 records if that many exist and this one does. So I could scroll through this. You can see I have some students that have homerooms. I've got some down here at the bottom. These are KFs. One, two, three, four, five. And, <clears throat> and some that don't. From here Oops. From here, I can do options, modify list, click on your homeroom pencil, and then you can go in for each one of these students and update their homerooms. Whichever flavor you really like, what works for you, um, what you can do it accurately as, but uh, it does give you several options, which is excellent. So that video looked at um, filters, choosing the number of records per page, mass update, and modify list. Hope that helps in your assignment of homerooms.